Now, to create a layout from the control surface, first thing we want to do is hold down the shift button again, and then we can hit any channel select button. We've got four next to each fader on the control. We've got eight next to each fader on the mix. I can hold down this shift button and hit this channel select, and then now we're in U control again and we're specifically tabbed to the Assign section. Right? And the Assign tab is giving me all the physical faders that I have on my system. I have four control faders and I have eight mix faders. Now, set to Auto Assign means that when I bank and nudge, the tracks are following out how it's laid out in Pro Tools, which is how you would want the surface to operate. But if I wanted to get a little more custom, and say let's go ahead and create a master fader layout to start. I'll go ahead and click on this fourth MC control fader right here, which is this, this guy, and I'll go all the way down to my sub master track. And now, the 11 faders, these three and these eight, are banking and nudging like normal, but at all times, if I switch back into Pro Tools now, I have control over my sub master. Right? So if I press playback, As I'm banking around and say adjusting, you know, the overhead track or turning the piano up, I still have control of my master volume as I'm adjusting those individual tracks. So, very, very handy to have that kind of layout. But we're only halfway there. We put that track to the fader that we want it to. We actually have to save that as a layout. So, we're going to highlight layout number one, we're going to store it, we're going to name it Master Fader. And then I'm going to go back to the Assign tab, and I'm actually going to clear all my assignments. Always good, nice rule of thumb here to create a default layout. So at any time you want all of your physical faders back to banking and nudging like normal, you can just recall this default one. So we'll name that default. And then I'm going to use a third one. I'm going to actually create a third one for you guys, which is going to mimic something that is called a VCA spill normally. And a VCA spill would be, I have a VCA fader set up in Pro Tools that controls all of the drum levels. So if I go back into Pro Tools briefly here, and we say wanted to control the levels of all of the drums simultaneously, I would use this drum fader to do so. If I notice, Adjusting all of those individual drum tracks as I'm doing it, right? Very nice. Well, it'd be cool on the control surface to actually be able to have that fader available, uh, that VC fader available right here, but then also maybe have some of the individual drum tracks like kick, snare, and overhead so that at any time I can turn all my drums up and down in my mix, but also control the kick versus snare and the individual drum track levels as well. So to do that, we would go to say this first MC control fader, we would select kick. Second one, we're going to select snare. And then the third one, I'm actually going to skip Notice a different track order than when I, what's laid out in Pro Tools. Go straight over to my overhead, and then on the fourth one, I'm going to go to that VCA drum fader. Go to Layouts here, and we're going to store that third one, and we're going to name it VCA Drums. Now, the last step now that I've created these three layouts, is to go back into Pro Tools and hit save, right? And so anybody can hit save, you can hit save right now, and as soon as I save that session, now the next time I open it, the layouts will come up and they will be there. And now I'm going to utilize the soft keys tab of the control to actually recall those layouts. I do have to go into U control to create these, but once I've created them, I can stay in Pro Tools and instantly recall the layout I want from the surface without switching back and forth between our software. So to do that, I'm in my soft keys tab. Briefly, if we remember, uh, like I said before, take another look at our uh, earlier videos where I do explain this soft keys um, um, section in, in, in much more detail. But what I'm going to do right now is use the layout button and automatically it takes me to a new page of virtual buttons here where I have 23 
dummy layout buttons. Three layouts I've already uh, created, and so I see Master Fader there. Boom, there's my Master Fader. And as I'm playing back, that's the layout that I have recalled, right? Remember, this is the only one that's locked. These other guys are back in a nudge like normal. Now the default one, that's all tracks back in a nudge like normal. And if I go to VCA drums, well, all four of these faders stay locked, but these eight back and nudge like normal like I would want them to. And I have control over my drum levels. Turn that overhead back down a little bit. Maybe turn the snare up a little bit. And there you go. So, layouts are very, very handy, and once again, very, very significant to be able to do this um, on a control surface that costs this much money. So, thank you very much. Thank you.